Hey Budgie fam, I hope that you guys are doing well. It is time for us to get set up for the month of April. So this is going to be our April budget binder setup. And we are, as always, making a few changes. I love making changes. It helps to keep me motivated. It gives me something to do, help me to be a little bit creative and just have a little bit more fun. Okay, so we are going to go back to the one binder because remember we had taken everything out of one binder, put it into different binders. And while that kind of worked for me, I like just putting everything in one binder at the end of the month, then I'll just take everything out and then transfer them into their respective binders. And that's just how I like to switch it up every now and then. Now, we are going to be introducing our purple binder. I haven't yet got to use my purple binder. And I feel like since we're in the Easter season, we're in the spring season, I felt like something a little bit bright would help. You guys know the purple, or you may, you may or may not know, lilac is actually my favorite color. I have a lilac uh, Fitbit here. And my phone is actually a lilac phone with a recorder, my I, my iPhone 14 um, plus. So lilac is absolutely my favorite color, even though I love my aesthetics. So what I want to do is I want to take the saving challenge. This is the binder that we've been using for our mini Mondays. And I actually want to put them in here because a lot of the challenges that are in the mini Mondays, they're, they're bright, they're colorful. So we're going to take these out and we'll put them into our lilac binder and then we're going to use this for our weekly cash stuffing that i do every week with all of my other saving challenges so the first binder that we're going to get set up is definitely going to be our mini mondays and i do have some new saving challenges from some new channels that i want to include into this so um let's go ahead and just kind of put the envelopes in i'm going to take the saving challenges out because i'm just going to give them a nice little shuffle and then we can kind of go through um all of the saving challenges that are going to be um be used during the month of april for this mini binder so that's envelope and so what this is i have 20 saving challenges i never finish them all honestly but i just do this because it's a way for me to do multiple saving challenges from different YouTubers. And, you know, it helps them to get a, a bit more exposure and hopefully help them to grow their channel. Um, so even if I don't finish a challenge, like I'm not stuck with it. I can switch it out and I can always come back to it whenever I feel like that's how I do my saving challenges. I don't wait until I'm done. I just love switching things up. And... We did pretty good on this this cash up this budget binder. We saved quite a bit and I took all the cash out, emptied it out completely, and now we're just gonna fill it back up again. That's just the way that I do it. So this is what I keep like I usually sometimes I use prop notes because I don't have like I live in Ireland. I have this in the back here because I owe this. We still owe this. I don't know if you guys remember. If you've been here for a while, remember we did this scratch off and we still haven't paid this yet. So this is a constant reminder to get this paid. But I usually use prop one your dollar bills when I'm doing these kind of saving challenges because I in in Ireland where I live, we we have a one euro coin and a two euro coin, so we actually don't have dollar bills. So I love using the us dollar bills and what i do is i just put the cash the real cash to the back here okay so i've taken all of these saving challenges out that i am working on so we'll just put those here but i kind of want to also introduce some new saving challenges this month and so i will just share with you so these are all free no not all of these are free some of these are mine as well but um this was a free saving challenge from the faithful dash um, it came in a set of three on a single A4 sheet paper. I cut this one out because it doesn't have any amounts. I loved it because there's flowers. It reminds me of spring. And I could just make each one of these icons one euro, just keeping this very low income friendly. So that's going to be the first saving challenges. That's, that's going to go into cash envelope number one. Okay. Next up is my Easter egg hunt savings challenge. This is available on my Etsy. Basically with this, and I've shown this before, if you've watched my channel, you would remember that this is very much like, um, it's like Plinko. Um, so I choose, I can use a carrot. I think I have a carrot and I have a 
little bunny rabbit. Excuse me. I showed a tutorial on how I was going to play this. I have a bunny rabbit here as well. I'm just trying to get the bunny rabbit. And boop, there we go. So let me put my markers down. Oh my gosh. I just, I love just having fun. Like honestly, if you're not having fun cash stuffing, you're doing it wrong. You need, you should be having fun. You should be enjoying this. Um, so basically I could either use a carrot or I can use my little bunny rabbit. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I just think they're both cute. And so what it basically, I take a six sided die for this savings challenge. And because I'm using the purple bind, I think I'm going to use the purple die. I think it's, and then five. So just you use this little, your little mover and we can go to there five. And so we're just going to work our way down. Now the bunny rabbit probably is more appropriate because the bunny rabbit with the eggs, but it doesn't matter. Like you can even use a little chicken as well. Um, and you just have fun with it. So that's what I'm basically going to do for this particular challenge. And once I get down to the bottom, the last die will let me know what the amount is that I need to save. So it's between one and five euros. If you get the golden egg, you actually don't have to save anything. It's free. Okay. So that's my Easter egg hunt. That's going to go into cash envelope number two. All right. Here is another free saving challenge. I mentioned this before. We actually started this last month and we were able to save one euro so far. Uh, this is the prayer and self-care. And this is from the Almost Organized Owl. This was a free saving challenge as well. I believe it was free. It, it, even if it's not free, I believe this is available on her Etsy uh, store as well. But I believe I got this from her Ko-Fi store. So that is going to go into cash envelope number three. Moving on to cash envelope number four. This is a kind of springy floral savings challenge. And um, all of these icons are just going to be one euro. Like I know she has a mount up here, but I like to keep all of my challenge in this binder very low so I can finish them relatively quickly. And this is by Cute Budgets. Okay, so that's going to go into cash envelope number four. This is our spring into savings challenge. And this is from Syndicat Budgets. Each of these icons, I make them $1, one euro. This has been with me from since I started doing Mini Mondays. This has been with me all year, I believe. We, Well, I have February here. So it's we started cash stuffing this, I guess, in February. Okay, so that's going into cash envelope number five. Cash envelope number six is going to be this April no spend challenge, but I am just using it as an avocado challenge. And each of the avocados are just going to be one euro. Um, and this is from Hey K Budgets. And there's a little quote down here from uh, James Joyce as well. So that's going to go into cash envelope number six. And then cash envelope number seven, this is going to be the spring savings challenge. I believe this was a collaboration with... Um, Hot mess budgets. Um, honestly, I have the paper somewhere. I don't know where I put it, guys. Sorry. But at the minute, I'm remembering that this might be a collaboration with Hot Mess Budgets. So I started this last month as well. And we're just trying to try to get this finished this month. So this is going to go into cash envelope number seven. This was a part of this as well. Um, but I think I'm going to finish this one first. And then if I finish this, this one, I can actually replace it with this one. Okay. So I just want to kind of show that these two were a part of the same, um, collaboration. All right. So in going in cash envelope number eight, we started this be kind saving challenge. And this is from budget with mama bear. Um, it's giving spring vibes It's really cute. I started this so far. We had saved one euro. And so we will continue working on that. And that's going to go into cash envelope number eight. Moving on here is the French macaron savings challenge. This one's coming back this month. We started this, I think, in January as well as February. We pulled it out during the month of March so that we could promote some other saving challenge. But since there's only six left, I can make each one of them one euro and just kind of finish off this saving challenge. And this is from Madeline Budgets. Also returning this month, um this is the roll and save kind of animal beautiful animal boho animal from lady die saves we started this i think in january as well we did it in january february we pulled this last month to make space for another saving challenge there's only eight left i can make each one of them one euro and then we'll be able to finish this saving challenge okay so that's going to go into cash envelope number 10 then going into cash envelope number 11, we're bringing this honeycomb savings challenge back. And this is from Budgeting with Jenny. Um, this one's not 
this is it it's low budget it's not really low but it's low budget enough and um yeah so we're gonna try to finish this one off as well um so that's gonna go into cash envelope number 11. so these are some of the new ones this is a new one from saving with shalonda this is a taco tuesday one i'm just gonna make each one of these one euro it it's not spring but what you know i just love it it's such a cute one and i feel like it is kind of like spring food like we don't have to eat anything warm now the weather is getting nicer so it's now time for us to have just a little bit more fun and um i just loved this i'm gonna make each one of them one euro so that's gonna go into my cash envelope number e um 12 sorry this is a new one as well. This is from D Plans and Budgets. I loved this so much. Definitely giving boho vibes. You would just roll to die. Um, I'll just take a pink and a purple. So purple to the top, pink to the side. So it's giving me a six and a six, and it gives me a smiley face. And we're just gonna kind of put some amounts here to figure out what um what amounts that we're going to use for this. Now I don't think this actually fits here so i might have to cut it just a little bit more see the problem is if i do cut it some more it's actually just going to take out it's going to take off the name but i can always just write her name to the back here as well so i'll make space for this one so that's going to go into cash envelope number 13. all right so cash envelope number 14 I'm going to go ahead and put in this uh, GB scratch off, personalized scratch off savings challenge that was made for me by Maria over at She's Got It. We're nearly done with this one. So we only have one, two, three, we only have four more scratch offs and we'll be done with, with this saving challenge. So that's going to go into my cash envelope number 14. Here is another scratch off and that I absolutely enjoyed. And this is from Windmill Ridge Budgets and Crafts. And this is a firm savings challenge. It didn't come with the scratch offs. It, this came up with this beautiful printout. And I just added some scratch off stickers that I found on Shein. And so far we've saved 15 for the savings challenge. Oh, look at that. And it's gonna go into cash envelope number 15. So we will be continuing this one from Windmill Ridge Budgets. Now let's make sure I have enough because we're, we, we're, we're, yeah, we should have enough space for the rest of these savings challenges. Okay, going into cash envelope number 16 is going to be this Rainbow Wings savings challenge. This is the saving challenge that I came up with, I think, last month. And I make each one of these just one euro, so keeping it very, very minimal. And it's perfect for the spring season. That's going to go into cash envelope number 16. Then for cash envelope number 17, it's going to be my Scooby-Doo savings challenge. This was also made for me by She's Got It, Maria over at She's Got It. Listen, I love this challenge so much. I hope I get to play this a little bit more. I'm going to intentionally play this more. We've only got to play this once since I got this. And that's unfortunate because it is such a fun challenge. And look at this. I have a custom die. I have a Scooby-Doo die. How cool is that? I've never seen a Scooby-Doo die like this, honestly. So I definitely need to play this a little bit more. So she sent me a dashboard that I can put into this cash envelope here so that's going to go into cash envelope number 17 and i have a custom die and then this is actually the saving challenge now because the saving challenge is so big for my budget binder i don't want to cut this i want it to stay just as it is so basically i just leave it here on my desk right to the back here and whenever i get to that dashboard i just simply pull that saving challenge so that's going into cash envelope number 17. now for cash envelope number 18 we have the buzz off savings challenge this is another honey savings challenge we've played this a few times already basically you roll another die let me see for this one maybe i could use hmm maybe i could use a yellow die how about that so we could use a yellow die roll it and it says five and so the number five i would save two euros for the savings challenge Okay, but so far we've done one euro up here and we've rolled a five. So I just scratch it off. And once I have everything scratched off or crossed out, sorry, scratch off is like a little bohemian slang that we say, um, then I will be finished with this saving challenge. This is going to go into my cash envelope number 18. Then going into cash envelope number 19 is going to be the spin bottle challenge. We just started this challenge, I think, a couple of weeks ago i think we've only managed to play it once so far but what i do is i use this little uh, vodka bottle here and i just kind of just spin it right to the center here i try to spin it 
I've seen people, I think Budget and Craft by Anne, I think she made a little hole with a little paper clip. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, I just spin it and wherever it lands, like honestly, that's how much I save. Now I had 15 and 10 on here. Your girl ain't got that kind of money. So I changed those numbers to four and six to keep this relatively low. And so far we were able to fill in three of these um, cash envelopes there. Anyway, so that's it for this particular savings challenge spin bottle. And with these delicious spring strawberries, uh, I launched this, I think, for Valentine's. Didn't get around to it in Valentine's. I need to cut this again. That's pretty tight inside there. And finally, going into cash envelope number 20 is going to be rolling with the peeps. Um, another little peep saving challenge. Basically, we take a die. We roll that die. It's a number six. And that tells me that I need to save five euros for this particular saving challenge. And every time I finish one, I'll just scratch it off. So we'll do this six times squash it off and then we're basically done with this savings challenge okay so that is all 20 saving challenges that are now in our mini mondays savings challenge budget binder in which is now going to be in this beautiful pink i mean lilac uh budget binder so i definitely need to cut this down just a little bit more okay so we're gonna leave that for the minute and then we're gonna move on over to are this binder here. I don't have to do anything with my 100 envelope challenge. The only thing that I'm doing different is I'm gonna be using these new stickers. These are the ones that I got from Shein. So I have these tucked in here. It just, just lets me know that I'm all of the money that I save in April, May, and June, because I'm doing it every three months, are gonna be used with these stickers. So this is like how the sticker pack looks. This is what I got from Shein. I was supposed to do a Shein haul video as well. I haven't gotten around to it either. Um, But uh, like I said, I don't need to do anything with my 100 envelope challenge because basically all I do is I take the cash every week and I cross it off of my tracker. I go to whichever number and I put a sticker down and I put the cash in. We completely emptied this and we were able to use the funds for our sinking funds, expenses, stuff like that, pay off debt or whatever. Whatever we wanted to do is that what we wanted to do. My build a farm binder, we're gonna get to in a minute. And then coffee binder. So with my coffee binder, I actually do want to add some new saving challenges to the coffee binder. I came across a free, some free saving challenges, honestly, and I want to make space for them in this coffee binder as well. So, so far we have this coffee saving challenge from She's Got It. We have Mystic Budget saving challenge that we recently added. This is my Coffee Plinko savings challenge. And for the Coffee Plinko savings challenge, I use this like mini Starbucks to kind of make my way down and i also use a caramel dye i believe um do i have a caramel dye here i do actually and i keep it inside here okay because sometimes we do play tansy as well and so i keep my my coffee related dye in this little box here with that little sticker honestly like i just love how i do my challenges like they just make me so excited um we have dice dice boba here um uh, we have Frap Funds. This is from um, one of those. I'll have them linked below, but this is from my Etsy store. We have Brew Tea Full Saving Challenges. We have this Coffee Cup Saving Challenge from Stuff and Budget. We have the Dollar Coffee Shop from Frugality's Life. And um, we have this Coffee Time from Jesse Budgets. And we have Me and My Coffee Challenge from another say, um, from another Etsy store. And then we have Coffee Tensy, which is what these 10 die is for, for Coffee Tensy. And then we have this coffee scratch off saving challenge. I only have 12 inside here. However, I have three new challenges in here that I would like to introduce, which means I need to swap out something. I don't know which one I want to swap out. I love coffee Plinko and I felt like it was nice to have boba inside y'all, but I might take boba out because I want to. So this one is from Mandy's budgeting journey. And I just, I loved coffee cup, nice little neutral colors. Now this probably could go for like a Thanksgiving, but I felt like it was nice and warm and cozy. So I might swap out Dice Dice Boba for that. And I don't think I can. So this one is from Amanda's Budgets and it's dollar for each one of these coffee cups. So I love coffee tansy. Like there's nothing that I really feel like I can actually swap out for this. I might actually add another cash envelope for this one. 
So, and I have some other ones from her as well, from Amanda's Budgets. Um, she had a maple syrup one and she had a cupcake one. Um, where did I put that? Let me just quickly show you it so that you... And they were free. They were all free. Look at this. Maple syrup and muffins. They were all free. So I might add them in. I might add a few extra cash envelopes to this binder as well. I just love it. So I might add a cash envelope to this binder for that. I'm going to add a cash envelope for this one for Mandy's budgeting for the coffee binder. We'll just put them to the back here. And I might add these two as well because they're just so cute. Amanda's budgets. Okay. So be sure to follow all of these lovely ladies that I'm mentioning in today's video and get yourself some free saving challenge. Now I have one more saving challenge that I want to show you guys. Honestly, honestly, look at this. This was free. This was a freebie. So this says, bring me a coffee and take me to Disney. I laminated this. I printed this on photo paper. This is from Glow Budgets, okay? And guess what? She gave you two dashboards. She gave you one for an A6 and one for an A5. So this is the dashboard for this particular savings challenge. And then she gave you this. So this is like a little scratch off. You can choose to either make each one of them like one euro or you can make it a scratch off. I actually bought some scratch off stickers from Amazon. I have like this rose gold one. I think I have a few other colors inside here. I'm not sure which color I'm going to use if I decide to do it as a scratch off. But it is just so cute and free. Did I say free? Absolutely free. So there's no reason you cannot cash off. You, there's no reason you you have no reason to save money because there's so many of us YouTubers who are I just shake my phone just now sorry who are providing you with free savings challenges. All you need to do is subscribe, subscribe, be active, comment, and just be a part of this wonderful budgeting community. So this is now joining my coffee Wednesdays savings challenges. So we have all of these cute new challenges that I'm going to be adding, okay? Amanda's Budgets, Mandy's Budgeting Journey, and Glow Budgets is who, I've, who I'm now adding into the coffee binder. And of course, this doesn't fit. So whenever I get to this, again, this is going to go right over here in the corner for all of the challenges that don't fit in my binder. And I still have a few more in the back here as well. I also have these two. So if I'm going to add more envelopes i might as well add these back in as well we had this expensive starbucks store challenge and we also have this butt first coffee challenge from saving with shalanda as well excuse me this was free hello how cute is this and you have numbers here but you can make the number you can you, you can set aside a number so i might as well just add all of them in hey so like honestly i am so happy like be sure to subscribe to all of these amazing um, YouTubers. All right. So again, I'll cut these out and they'll be added into this budget binder as well. So that is it for the coffee binder. That is it for my, um, mini Mondays. Didn't have to do anything much to the hundred envelope challenge. And I'm going to work on my scratch off at a later time. This is my build a farm budget binder. Oh my goodness. If you missed the video where I showed you all of the new things that we have coming that came out this month, you missed out. Okay. Um, again, I love build a farm. Farm Fridays is what we do. The build a farm savings challenge in coffee. Wednesdays on Wednesdays is when we do the coffee related savings challenges. Mini Mondays is going to be this lilac binder where we do random amounts into different saving challenges. And then my regular weekly cash stuffing where I have specific saving challenges is going to go into this tote binder here. And that's going to be either Saturday or Sunday, one of those days or whatever else. Anyway, let's get into build a farm. So we have our dashboard, we have our spice garden, we have mama's kitchen. And now we need to make space for the pug dealer because the pug dealer is what we're going to be using to help us get certain ingredients because the animals, unfortunately, are going to be leaving the farm. Crop order board. I think I'm going to leave the crop order board because this is something I can complete. So that's going to stay. Peaches is going to stay. Strawberries is going to stay. Carrots is going to stay. Corn is going to stay. Apples is going to stay. Wheat. I need to wipe this down. 
that's staying. We are going to take out feed the cow because we're no longer going to need that. Um, this is a challenge that we need to complete this month. So these are two new challenges this month that we need to complete, which is the Great Escape and the Lemonade Stand. By now, my farm squad who have purchased half or all of the Builder Farm Saving Challenges would have received links to these absolutely free. They are only free to the Loyal Farm Squad. Um, they are available discounted. If you use this code that I have on the screen, you can get a discount off of all of the Builder Farm related savings challenges. If you've not yet started your collection, maybe you're a new subscriber, maybe you weren't interested in the beginning, but now you're seeing we're having so much fun and you want to get some for yourself. So you can use that discount code and that'll save you a percentage off of the pricing that's available on Etsy. But my farm squad, my wonderful farm squad family, they would have gotten all of these new saving challenges for April absolutely free. Okay, so we are gonna put in banana. So they got all of these, plus they got the little mini cards as well, because we had some cards launched and I keep my cards in this little box here as well. So banana is gonna go in there. We're not gonna be feeding the chicken because the chicken is leaving the farm. So raspberry is gonna go in there. We're not feeding the goat because the goat is leaving the farm. So mango is gonna go in there. We no longer need the goat's milk. That's why we have the pug dealer. The pug dealer is going to help us to get milk if you want to do any recipes. So these are now leaving. They will come back at a later time. We don't need the chicken eggs. That's because the chicken is going to be leaving. We're going to replace that with some grapes because a little birdie told me wine press is going to be coming. We're going to take out the cow's milk again. Don't be discouraged. This is where your pug dealer comes in. The pug dealer has everything you need <laughs> and more. All right, so we're going to replace that with watermelon. Two wheat equals a flour. Yes, we still have wheat, so we can leave this card in because we can still make flour. And we can leave this card in because we're still making corn and we can still make sugar, so we can leave that in. Three cow's milk butter is gone. I think I'm going to ban this card from my <laughs> from my budget binder. And butter is gone. We can get that from the pug dealer. So we're going to replace butter with our sweet peas. That's going to go inside there. And then we do have a recipe card. We are working on this uh, peach cobbler. This, is, this was suggested to the Builder Farm family by Budgets and Crafts with Anne. So shout out to Anne. And I'm going to go for the pug. I'm going to, when I need flour, I can still make it because we're making wheat butter. I'm going to go to pug, pug dealer for that. The egg, I'm going to go to, to the pug dealer. Sugar, I can still make this. And then I'm going to go to the spice garden for ginger or cinnamon for this one. And so we finished the blueberry. We finished the leprechaun tie and we finished the ingredient board. That can now come in, come out. And oh my goodness, I don't have enough space for everything. So tomatoes, I need an envelope for tomatoes. I need an envelope for lemons. We can introduce these at a later time. The recipe cards we can do once we're finished with the current recipe card that we have. I still have pumpkin. I still have broccoli, avocado, bell peppers, and potatoes. I need to make envelopes for those. And then these are the two saving challenges that we're going to be completing during the month of April or during the entire spring season. Like I, I definitely need to finish this for April because this is, you know, Easter egg. Easter is going to be done. But the lemonade's done. I could probably take my time. And this could be done over the next, for the entire month, for the entire spring season, which is going to end. Uh, I think spring is March, April, and May. Yeah, so we should be done. This can actually be done for summer as well. All right, so I don't even have enough cash envelopes. Oh my goodness. So I just need to add a few more cash envelopes for those and our bills are for, or maybe I could do a binder for the fruits and a binder for the vegetables, maybe? Maybe. I just I just love everything in one binder. I might I just need a bigger binder. Anyway, that is everything that's for the build a farm budget. But yeah, I still have space. I could throw a few more cash envelopes in there. Okay, that's now done. I don't want this and this video is already long. So let's try to wrap this up. So our last budget binder setup for the month of April is going to be my weekly savings challenges. Okay. So we're going to put the weekly saving challenges into the taupe binder and I'm going to be using my new cash envelopes. These are the ones that have the double pocket. 
So there's a pocket here for you to put your savings challenge in. And there's also a pocket here for you to put your cash in. These will be available for purchase. I might just do them alongside when the new binders come in. You have the option of just adding in a set of six for free. Because um, I love just giving the cash envelopes with the binders. But I have some other cash envelopes. The plain ones, the regular ones, like what was in the other ones. I have those. Those are going to be coming to the web, to the, to the store soon. Anyway, so our first challenge that's going to go into my weekly saving challenge is going to be our um, affirmation saving challenge. And the affirmation for the month of April is going to be, I release all limiting beliefs about money and I open myself up to new possibilities. I release all limiting beliefs about money and I'm opening myself I'm opening myself up to new possibilities, okay? So we're going to tuck this into this little pocket to the front here. And when we start cash stuffing it, we're just simply going to put the cash to the back here. So that's what this one is all about. All right, so that's our first savings challenge done. Next up is an oldie. These are all the ones that we've been using since the beginning of this year. Again, if you're just joining me for the first time and you're wondering why everything is marked out, where's the cash? We unstuffed everything for the first quarter of 2024. January, February, and March. We took all of the cash out. We emptied all of our binders. I'll put a link for the video um, somewhere up in the cards. And we used those funds to pay down debt, to go on vacations, to celebrate life and enjoy the hardworking earned money that we made. That's what we saved it for, to be able to enjoy it, to be able to use it. And so now we're, we're moving on to the second quarter of 2024. So we'll unstuff this in June as well, because that's, you know, family vacations coming up. All kinds of things going to be happening during the summer. So definitely to start saving. Anyway, this is my five euro challenge. We save five euros for four weeks during each month. That's that. Okay, next is going to be the 10 euro challenge. Again, these are all available on Etsy. There's no currency symbol, so you can use this for US pounds, any, any, any currency. And then next is going to be the 20 euro savings challenge. I'm just gonna tuck that in there and that is now done. I also have a 500 euro savings challenge. Um, each week we save the first week is 10 the second week is 12 third is 11 and the last week is nine and i also have a 1000 euro savings challenge that's now done and then i also have a 2024 saving challenge where i save 20 euros or i save 24 euros each week that's done here is our this is our um, themed savings challenge. Is this the themed one? No, this is the themed one. This is our seasonal, sorry. This is the spring season, yeah. So this is our seasonal savings challenge. Each one of these icons is just one euro. So it's a relatively low income friendly savings challenge. And these are all, but this one's called Bunny Magic. And so that's now done. Then this is our April themed savings challenge. We roll a die for this one. So roll a die and whatever that amount is, that's the amount that we save. So this will be two euros and we just color that in. So that's the one for April. Then we have our Zodiac savings challenge. So for the month of April, we are focusing on the sign Aries. Each one of these stars is just one euro. That's now done. And then I have some other saving challenges from some other YouTubers. So this is the April saving challenge. This is a this is a part of a 12 month saving challenge. This is the one for April. Each one of these um, letters, I just make them one euro. This is from Fiona over at Frugality is Life. So we're just gonna tuck that in there. Next up is a saving challenge from Maria over at She's Got It. The universe will always serve my best interest. And this is the one for April. I make each one of these cash envelopes one euro. And then she has a beautiful little scratch up here that just has a mystery number. I love these so much. Again, this is a 12 month um, monthly saving challenge as well. All right, so that's going in there. Next, another 12 month saving challenge. This is from Jerry over at the One Frugal Introvert. This is her April themed one. And the numbers are really small, two and one, two and one, but they all add up. 
for the month of March, I think we saved 50 euros. I think for the previous month, we saved maybe like 45. So these are really good. Even though the numbers are small, they really do push us and they really do add up. That's Jerry over at One Food Lunch Shout out to Jerry. All right, so that one is done. Then this is another savings challenge from Maria over at She's Got It. This is her April scratch off. Before you speak, listen. Before you write, think. And before you spend, earn positive words. And this month we saved 30. Last month I think it was 50. So she gave me a break this month. So I'm very happy about that, which means the numbers should be relatively low, like 5, 10, 15, and maybe another 5 or something like that. So I'm very happy about that. And I love having scratch off. You see the difference? Like some of them are scratch offs. Some of them have specific numbers. Um, some of them are mystery. Okay, and then here's my saving challenge. This is my 12 weeks of spring. So each week in spring, there's 12 weeks. Well, there's 13 actually because it's 52 weeks in a year. But I just love the number 12. And so each week you should save two, you save one of these numbers here and spring starts in March. So, so far you should have had four, if you're doing the challenge, um, and this is available in different numbers. I have 25, 50, hundred, probably up to 300, I think. Um, and you just save each one of these numbers each week. So one, two, three, I only did three. So I should have done one more for March. So I need to get that done. And then for April, I'll do another four. And then for May, I'll do the final four. So again, this is another small, simple saving challenge you only have to save one or two one between one to four euros each week during the month during the season of spring all right so that's now done and then last but not least guys here is message in a bottle this is a saving challenge from saving with alicia this was handmade just for me beautiful saving challenge it comes with a little glass jar with capsules in it and each one of these capsules representing the bottle has a message each one of these messages corresponds with one of these bottles here. So you'll be saving between 5 to 25 euros with this handmade, beautiful saving challenge. Highly, highly recommend. This is so much fun. It's always a surprise. Always a surprise. So that's going to be the final saving challenge that's going to go into my weekly cash envelope, um, cash stuffing, okay? So that's our affirmation. That's the 5 euros, the 10 euros, 20 euros, the 500, the 1,000, 2,024 saving challenge, our seasonal saving challenge, which is bunny magic, our themed saving challenge for the month of April, which is, you know, bunnies and happy Easter, our zodiac savings challenge. This is a saving challenge, the April saving challenge from Fiona over at Frugality's Life. Shout out to Fiona. Shout out to Maria over at She's Got It for another beautiful, positive um, saving challenge for April. Jerry over at One Frugal Introvert for her saving challenge. Shout out to Jerry. Again, this is Maria again. She has another positive scratch off saving challenge. This is my own for the 12 weeks of spring. And then finally, Alicia over at Saving with Alicia with message in a bottle. I am very happy with my binders. Honestly, they, I can't wait to get started. Um, April is going to be a great month, guys. We are going to be able to accomplish all of our financial goals. We are receiving, we are believing, and we are getting started. Thank you guys for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this budget binder setup. I look forward to cash stuffing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.